Today I'm going to show you how to properly restore an A-R6 tumbler to working condition. watched a previous video that we showed using this to tumble parts, remove rust and grease. And if you haven't, there'll be a link at the end of the video so you can actually look at that. Works fantastic to use a rock tumbler. Well, this is the rock tumbler, but as I was saying, it was looking at was a, at the end of its useful life. Further review showed that, you know, I really could probably just repair the one that's here and make it usable. So I went online to find out if you can get parts. Boy, can you. Not from the company that actually made it. It looks like it's now called Thumbler's Tumblers. That's quite a mouthful. But we'll put a link to that so you can go look it up and see. And we ordered a series of parts necessary to actually fix this particular tumbler. Let's look at what's wrong before we get into actually doing it. On this end, you notice that wobbled something terrible. Problem with that is when you put your actual tumbler drum on here, this tends to run against your rubber o-ring that's holding the top of the tumbler off or on and knock it off. That's not good because it shouldn't be doing that. Furthermore, you can see there's it looks like just dirt, but there's actually more wear on this one than there is on that one. If you look on this end, there's a huge amount of wear that's occurred here and here, but particularly here. So it's kind of running probably some of the times off balance, and this has probably been bad for a long time, eating away at these rubber portions. I think they're technically, they say they're nylon, but nonetheless, they're being eaten away. Also, this is wobbly. The bearings in here, these end pieces, are not particularly good either anymore. The shafts, it turns out you can buy this shaft assembly and put it in there. And I was pricing it all out as separate parts. And I figured out by the time I was done, it was like almost the same as buying the two shafts assembled. So in this case, I'm going to replace the two shafts. I just recently replaced this little belt. Now I'm going to show you the other things I'm going to replace with it because that's the parts here that need to be replaced. Both shaft assemblies are going to be replaced and we will use this belt and this motor. We're obviously going to clean it up, but I'm going to show you what else needs to be done to it. Here we are with the drum and I've got some stuff I'm collecting to start another run in it, but that's not really what the issue with it is, obviously. I don't even need to empty it to fix it right now. What's wrong is this is the plastic end and it's kind of warped and worn and in general kind of shot compared to when it was new. Even worse though probably is the rubber o-ring. It's much too easy to put on and take off. When you first get one of these new you'll find out getting the plastic piece in here usually takes a screwdriver to actually work it in and in getting this o-ring on is genuinely fairly hard when you first get them new. But even on the website, when you look at the parts, they tell you these things stretch over time. So between this being too stretchy and this being worn, that's what's causing it not to want to stay sealed and pop out occasionally. And of course, as we showed you what was wrong with the actual shafts it was riding on, and particularly the one end shaft away from the motor that we're going to replace. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean them up and I'll be back and we'll do a quick little changeover. Well, this is the poor little box. It kind of got squished on its way here. It's interesting, like I said, it's called Thumbler's Tumblers, but geoshops.com is where you get the parts. And let's see if we can open up the poor little box and see what goodies we got inside. Probably could have used something other than just paper. So I'm not real thrilled with that. Could have done a little bit better, and if they were to use paper, a little bit more might have been good. But it doesn't look like anything's damaged. So we'll move that to the side. And I should tell you the total amount spent on the parts here for the new top. Look at the difference in that new top. It even looks thicker. If I bring the other one back, but look at that. You can 
can see the amount of wear it's got. So this is thinned way down from all that time in the tumbler. So that's really shot. Also see that in our bag here, we happen to have our new drive shaft right there. Etc. looks beautiful. You can tell how worn out the old one is. You look at the two of them and you say, oh, that one's shot. Yeah, it certainly has. It's done. We'll also look here. We got our rear shaft. And you notice that this isn't wobbling anywhere near what this one does. Look at the wobble on that. And you look at this. It moves, but it doesn't wobble like that. So that's worn out. And of course, I told you we also ordered one other important item. This is supposed to be our new retainer ring. And if that's the right size retainer ring, look at how much smaller it is. So it's going to take effort to put it on. It should work good. So now we're going to go about the process of actually putting it together. And you can even go at rocktumbler.com right there. Now I should tell you how much we spent to get this stuff. It cost us all of about $50. It was like $49.95. That's how much it was exactly, including the shipping. So it wasn't too bad a deal because it costs a lot more to buy a new one. Here we are back with the little rock tumbler. We're going to put in our drive shaft, basically. And it's got two little slots. You just slide down in there. That's all you got to do. And you want to have your little rubber o-ring on there. So I'll have to undo that enough to put the o-ring on it. Get it back in here. Slide it back down and slide the ovary on there. So we've got our drive side. Let's test it, make sure it warms nice. Runs real nice. And the old one had about that much wobble in it. That doesn't make any difference to us, but this now runs nice and we've got nice rollers for everything to run against. Now we'll flip our other end on here so we can actually have our drive system for our drum complete, because this is the idler side where the drum's going to run, and again, you just snap it in. Now, they do suggest you put a teeny bit of oil in here at times on these ends, and I just use the stuff we suggested for assembly lube in another video that will probably do really well, because it'll leave a very thin amount of oil on there, and as I said, it's only suggested from time to time, a teeny bit of oil. So that's the basic tumbler portion. Now we're going to look and see how good our lid fits. Let's move this out of the way. Bring back the rock tumbler drum itself. And I'm not filling this up to run right now. I'm just going to look at the fact of what it's actually like to put our new stuff in here. And nothing special a little notice about putting it together. Now this I expect to be actually difficult compared to what the other one was where it's gotten so worn it's way too easy to put in. You notice I can't put that in by hand. I can put the old one in by hand. Back with a screwdriver which this is how I used to have to do it when it was new screwdriver around and gradually get it to pop in. So now it's popped in there much tighter than the one it's replacing. Now we're going to take our belt and rubber over in here and we're going to see how much trouble that is to put on it. It's probably going to be fairly hard because they tell me right on the website that this is supposed to be difficult when you first get it. And I may have to fight this thing to get it on here. Probably have to do it off camera. Probably have to get myself to lean against it to hold it while I try to put it on. And I do think I'm going to have to do it off camera. So I'll be back with you as soon as I succeed. Okay, success was had, but I will tell you, in order to actually do that with a new o ring, I had to enter it on one side, lean down on it hard with my chest, and pull with both hands and four fingers to get it on there and it took about five tries. It's not for the faint of heart when it's new, but I suspect it won't leak. And just because I had to go that much trouble, I figured, you know, I'm gonna fill it up with the water and the soap, and let's just test it now and see how it does. Bring the 
tumbler back over. We'll put this in place. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And what do you know? Runs much better than it did before. This is actually holding it in position. The wheel, as I said, they wobbled before, so that's just the way they come. That's not that big a deal. And everything's staying where it should stay, driving the way it should drive. I would say we have a success, and we have zero leakage. So for $49.95, I fixed a tumbler that I was figuring I was going to have to replace. So I would suggest to anybody that these things are quite refurb something easily refurbished. You can actually even get the motor, so if the motor went out and everything else is good, you could replace the motor. And I'm certainly into it less than having to buy a new one. I don't remember the new one's price. I want to say it's something like $150. I might be a little high, but I think it's right up there. So this is a good way to refurbish or restore this one to working condition easily. Hope you enjoyed the short little video showing you how to fix this up. And it's going to go, I think, many more years operating, doing parts. And if you haven't watched the Tumblr video of how I do the parts, take a few minutes and watch it. Because this is the way you want to do something for it. It doesn't matter if it's old cars, old machinery, anything that you're restoring or want to clean up that's rusty or greasy. This is the darn easiest thing to do if you've got rusty or greasy old metal parts. Simple way to do it. Well, that's about it for now. Hope you liked the little video. Subscribe if you like to see more interesting restoration videos and things to deal with all things cars, machinery, etc. And Trisha will suggest some videos at the end that might be of interest to you. See you later.